Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about replacing an intermittent connector on the Hakko 888 soldering iron. Just about every time when I would use the iron, the tip would not heat up unless I messed with the connector on the front of the iron. There had to be a better connector to replace the standard one shipped with the soldering iron. After measuring the connector diameter, length, and pin count, I looked on DigiKey to find a replacement connector. The connector used is a standard connector called a DIN connector. More specifically, this soldering iron uses a DIN-6 connector, meaning that there are six positions, or pins, belonging to the connector. The connector I found that's compatible is the SD-60LP male and SD-60LS female connector. This connector is an interlocking metal connector with extremely solid build quality. The downside with this connector is that it can rotate in the housing if the nut is not tight. This is due to the lack of a key present in the original connector. First, I removed the connector from the soldering iron by prying the corner. This allowed me to mark the wires and desolder the old connector with an old Weller plug-in-the-wall iron. I then disassembled the case of the Hakko. I attached the wires to the new connector and soldered the wires following a wiring diagram I made. After tightening up the nut to secure the new connector, I reassembled the housing. Now onto the wire connector. I desoldered the original connector after creating a wiring diagram. Stripping the casing and the wiring, I soldered the new connector. Before the new connector is soldered on, remember to put the casing of the new connector onto the cable. I forgot to do it in this scene and had to unsolder the connector, put the casing onto the cable, and resolder the wires onto the connector. A major pain. After assembling the connector with the casing, I mated the connectors together for the first time. It looks like I have to tighten up the nut, because the connector spun a bit when tightening it up. It looks like the new connector has a solid connection. No intermittent contact at all when wiggling the connection. So that completes this video. I hope that this will help when replacing a broken or intermittent connector on the Hakko 888 soldering iron. Links will be in the description for the connectors used in this video. Also, I will post a wiring diagram to my website, also in the description.